may seem like a simple fix when you're out of baby formula and just picking up whole milk for your baby. Now, before you revert to this option, here are some things to consider. And it's just a little terrifying because I don't know if my kid will be able to eat. Shelves like these is the cause of the terrifying feeling that parents like Marissa Dent are faced with as they scramble to find formula. I spilled a little bit on the counter the other day and I cried because I was like, that was probably, you know, oop, that was something I'm not going to get back. An emotion many parents may be feeling during the baby formula shortage, leading to some parents considering alternatives, even cow's milk for their baby. I'm scared too. I don't know how his reaction will be. With the formula shortage though, things have changed a little bit. So what they're recommending is over six months of age if you're in a pinch. Dr. David Butler is a pediatrician at Physicians Primary Care of Southwest Florida. He tells me if a parent is in a pinch, not to use cow's milk for a baby younger than 12 months for longer than a week. It can lead to uh, a crankier baby. They can get a little fussy from the milk, and then it can lead to the iron deficiency anemia. So that's the one thing. After six months, from that six month to nine month time frame, your body doesn't have a lot of stores of iron built up. Dr. Butler adds that cow's milk can lead to upset stomachs, and babies under the age of six months should never have cow's milk. To help parents in Cape Coral and Fort Myers find baby formula, Marissa started a Facebook group. I will have that link on this web story on fox4now.com. In Cape Coral, Brianna Brownlee, Fox 4.